Right, we've got this fairly typical exam question here of uh, counters in a bag or balls in a bag, whatever you want to call it, okay? We've got four blues, we've got three yellows, and we've got two pinks. Now, we're asked to find the probability of getting the same colour in two picks. Now, remember, when we pick, it's going to say in the question we replace the counter we picked out. So that's pretty important as far as this goes, but it will say in the question. So, we're going to find the probability of getting the same colour and the probability of finding a diff two different colours, okay? Now, I've done a little tree diagram here to help us. We're pick one. Probability of blue is four out of nine. There are four blues, nine counters in total. Probability of yellow is three out of nine. Now, I'm not going to simplify that because it will help me at the end when I'm adding up all my different options. And two ninths being the pinks. The second pick, because I'm replacing the counter, is going to be exactly the same. But remember, at the end of each branch, I've got to have three more because even if I pick blue first, I could still pick blue, yellow, or pink on the second one. Same probabilities because we're replacing the counter. It's very important that we remember we're replacing the counter. Now, if I'm trying to find the probability of finding the same colour, I actually have a few options. I've got blue, blue, so I'm going to actually star that there because those are the ones I'm looking for here. So blue, 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 yellow is not the same colour, blue, pink is not the same colour. But yellow, blue, yellow, yellow. So I could have blue, blue, or I could have yellow, yellow. Uh, yellow, pink doesn't count. Uh, P, uh, pink and blue, pink and yellow. Pink and pink, I could have pink and pink. So I've got three different options. I've got blue and blue, or yellow and yellow, or pink and pink. Now. When we're doing this, I want to pick four ninths and then four ninths. Now, when you see the word and in probability, it means we multiply our fractions, decimals, whatever they are. Three ninths and three ninths and three ninths and two ninths and two ninths. Okay, so I'm going to work these out, and this is where you'll see why actually not simplifying the three ninths will make it a little bit easier. So 4 9 16 over 81, we get 9 over 81. Again, I could simplify that, but I'm not going to, and we get 4 over 81. Now, because I didn't simplify, all my denominators, all the bottom numbers of the fractions, are 81. It makes it a lot easier to add. So I'm going to do 16, 9, and 24, which gives me 29 80 ones. Okay? So 16 and 9, 25, add another 4, gives me 29. So that's the probability of the same colour. Now, the thing about finding two different colours is it's anything other than the two same colours, isn't it? So it's all the other options. Now, all that means is I know that it's certain that something's going to happen, and I know that certain in probability is 1. So if I take 1 minus the probability of the same colour, I'm going to end up the probability of getting two different colours. So that looks a bit nasty at the moment, but we should know that 1 is the same as 81 80 ones. That's a whole. So all I've now got to do, and this is a lot easier, is take, take away sorry, those fractions. And 81 take away 29, well, that's pretty easy. 81 take away 30 is 51, but it was actually take away 29, so 52 80 ones. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.